Hello guys, we're going to New York. We're going to New York, we're going to New York, we're going to New York. We're going to New York and I have to pack because this is kind of a last minute trip. I feel like I have so much to update you guys on. But hello, what is up, it's Mace. Welcome back to Blazed and Glazed. If you're new, you came at a very exciting time because like I said, I am getting ready to go to New York City in a couple of days. I'm going for literally just four whole days and it's already so packed with things that I have to do. Um, I literally didn't even realize I had my AirPods in until they just died and I heard them, but. <sighs> Let me just take a deep breath. We're going to New York. I'm gonna explain everything in this video for you guys. And I figured it would be really fun to do like a style outfits with me and pack with me for New York video for you guys because I've done a ton of thrift hauls recently. I do have like a thrift haul to give you guys before we get into the packing and the styling, but I don't do a lot of styling Luke videos for you guys. So let's try this little style session out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but New York is going to be literally so much fun. Let me put you right here and we can like chat for a moment. Open up the window so we can get some light in here. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to packing, also sorry if you see snot dribbling off my nose. It's, you know, snot, the biggest fashion accessory for spring 2022. I am a trash packer. Like I am a trash packer to the max. I always overpack for every single trip that I go on. And I also think that I like have so much and that I'm so prepared, but then I end up like getting to wherever I'm going and I have nothing to wear. And then I just like thrift or like buy new vintage things to wear while I'm there. And then I simultaneously just get so overwhelmed by like how much shit I have in my suitcase, especially when I'm in New York, because no matter if I'm staying at my best friend Morgan's apartment or I'm staying at a hotel, like the rooms are always so small and I just hate feeling like I have too much stuff. So for this trip specifically, it's a very like work heavy trip and I have events and shoots and interviews and things like that going on the entire time I'm there and I need like specific outfits for specific things. And then I'm also doing a shoot, I think I just said that, on the last day that I'm there. And I need to style like three specific looks for that shoot. So I wanna be actually prepared this time. So today is Friday. I leave on a red eye on Tuesday night, but I have a ton of work stuff on Monday and Tuesday. So I know I won't have a ton of time to like put outfits together. So that's what we're gonna do today and tomorrow. We're gonna start today. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is pull out like everything. One minute, Ugh, okay. First, I'm gonna show you guys a thrift haul of some stuff that I picked up when I went thrifting with my friend Mackie the other day. It was so fucking good and full of like pieces that I wanna bring to New York with me. Also, the weather is like cold there. Like I looked in the highs like in the low 50s for when I'm gonna be there, which I know for normal people, that's warm for spring, but for LA girlies, that is freezing cold. I've already been like entering my spring and summer outfit vibe. Like I am there, I am ready because it's been like 80 to 90 degrees here the past two weeks. But alas, I'm gonna need to dress for semi-winter beginning of spring vibes in New York. Um, yeah, Oof. I wanted to wear sexy tiny outfits but it looks like I'm gonna have to cover up a little bit more than that. Okay, let's do this haul. And then I'm gonna pull out like everything and put it on the ground that I want to potentially pack. And then we'll style some outfits today and tomorrow. Okay, I love you guys, let's do this. Let's go to New York. Okay, thrift finds. I have a couple of random things, like I said, that I got over the past like week or so. This little like really hot micro mini skirt that actually my, oh my God, I feel like the lighting is a butthole, but this is a micro mini by Jamie, by Jamie Z, the tag says. You guys might've seen me style this on TikTok this week, but it's got like little pleats and it's a very, very cute. My assistant Haley gave me this. The lighting is not fine. She's literally not fine. She's already gone to New York. She's had too many martinis. She is off the damn wall. <laughs> uh, but I have one that's kind of similar to this that's corduroy, but this one's kind of like a businesswoman special suit vibe. What else? Oh, this little vest, which I styled on TikTok this week and here on shorts with that little skirt moment. And then I put this kind of like little like super cropped. It's basically like a sleeve top. It's originally from Zara, but I got it at the thrift store at That's a Wrap, or It's a Wrap, I got it at It's a Wrap in Burbank. And then I got this little really cute 
suit vest top it just fits like a dream and then i got oh my god this is like the piece de, de motherfucking resistance it's by karen millen karen with a k m-i-l-l-e-n um this is a karen that is on our good list because look at this top that she provided us with it's literally like a gray cropped like little sweater moment and then it has these like insane um this is worth it to fuck up the lighting again these insane like silver latches that go like on your shoulders it was just giving such fucking diesel energy and you guys know i was obsessed with that show like a month back so this is bringing the diesel energy oh my god in these how could i literally forget i found these leg warmers at the thrift and they make the sickest like arm warmers with like a two-piece outfit i have something in mind that i want to do but like look how fucking sick these are i'm just literally so obsessed i'm pretty sure this is shapewear but i'm wearing it as a corset um and like look how sick it is and like the shape i love it probably because it's shapewear okay let's throw some outfits together let me walk you guys through my little process if you will before we start so this morning i basically just like went through all of my screenshots from the past like month i would say people's like outfits on instagram on their instagram stories and their tiktoks and their youtube videos from like editorials that i've seen just whatever i've screenshotted in a like outfit inspiration way over the past month because that's probably like what i'm going to be feeling on this trip i basically curated all of those into its own like private pinterest board um maybe if you guys comment enough and really really want to see it i will share the pinterest board and make it public for you guys it just feels like a little embarrassing because it's literally like the most random screenshots from people's stories that i do and do not know their tiktoks like all of that shit because it's not just always like a full fit that inspires me it could be just like a shoe or like a sunglass editorial from literally like a magazine in the 90s like it could be anything and i want to screenshot it it could literally be someone like having their morning coffee like doing a little dance in their robe like kind of makes me look like a creeper but like you know what i'm saying so yeah if you guys really really want to see it and bully me enough bully me in a nice way enough i will possibly share it with you guys uh, but i basically put that all into a pinterest board that way on my trip i can be referencing that board as well like say I, you know, don't have perfect looks for every single occasion or like one of the looks I plan here today with you guys, I just don't feel like wearing in the moment. Maybe I'm just like not feeling as comfortable in it or just like whatever. My mood changes all the time and it changes what I want to wear all the time. So I want to have that Pinterest board to like reference back to just to inspire me to like play with some of the pieces that I brought. So I think I want to wear like a lot of mini skirts, even though it's going to be cold. I think I'm just going to do boots and maybe we'll do some tights, but I'm like really feeling inspired by a lot of mini skirts I'm looking at right now. So I'm gonna go into the closet. I'm gonna put some pieces together and I'll show you guys like the first look that we're gonna pack. We need like 13 outfits. Let's get it, let's get it. Am I, am I doing something cool here? Like a cool cutout situation? Close, but no cigar. I don't like the like vibe this is giving. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I like this cool top. It doesn't go with the skirt though. I do kind of like this though. Like, do you guys think I could get away out with like a martini and this top on and not have a titty pop? Or, like. I don't think so. I don't think I can raise my arms at all, but I do want to incorporate this top somehow. <gasps> oh my God. What if I bring my, oh my God. What if I bring my vintage Juicy Couture jacket? This is one of the most important items in my whole wardrobe, guys. I got this at Teen Vogue Fashion University in 2010, which was like such a special experience for me. And it was like a Juicy Couture event and we got to do like a step room repeat and everything. And they gave us like, gift cards to juicy couture and i got this jacket with it and like for little thrifting in ohio macy that was in freaking new york at t-book fashion university because of photos she took in her basement and an essay she wrote at literally age whatever the book it was 15 16 16 it was a dream experience okay i'm inspired by this jacket and i think it needs to like come back or, oh my god it hasn't been worn in so long that i need to like um I need to like wash it before I go. It's like off black because of how long it's been on 
a hanger and not on a body. <gasps> oh my god, guys, I'm totally bringing her with me. Okay, I just realized for the first time in my life that there is a clasp up here and I love it. Oh my god, oh my god. I love this, I love this, I love this. <laughs> I love this. I updated my pretzel vibe. Put them in this really cute little dish I got from an estate sale. And we're gonna keep pondering looks. But I really don't ever wanna take this jacket off. It's so cute. Okay, I know this is a little kooky and out there, but I am so obsessed with this outfit, guys. I think I might wear this to the treasures party on Thursday night. I'm I'm doing a skirt over pants. Okay, let's just like break it down. I'm doing this like amazing necklace. I got it play clothes vintage recently. This is a sweater that I got at the Silver Lake Flea and I like tied it to the sides. So it's like very, very sick. And then this is a skirt that I got from Yard Sale Thrift Store. And like it's like falling apart in all the best ways. And I have not gotten to do pants and a skirt yet. I know it's very controversial, but I love it. I'm doing these trousers underneath that are just like a great pair of thrifted trousers and then these sickening boots that I got from Super Thrift that are just like giving apocalyptic, futuristic vibes. And then my city bag. I don't know if I'm gonna end up wearing this to the party, but this is gonna be a look I wear. I just can't tell if I should be doing the skirt. I can't decide if I wanna do the skirt low waist oh maybe yeah yeah that brings something wow i love this outfit so much okay we're finally picking up steam i feel so cool in this it literally just feels like ugh, what up i have a towel around my waist but it's hot okay wait go with me on this journey i could also do it as a top like i could literally just move the skirt up and do it as a top which do you guys like better? Vote down below. I think I like it as a skirt better, but it's obviously an option as a top. Okay, ignore the sheer chaos behind me, but I'm thinking for a dinner look, I'm gonna do this really sick top that like has a slit on the side. It's very Matrix vibes. I got it from Magma Vintage and it's just hot. And then I just have on like black trousers and this chain belt I got from an estate sale. And then I forgot to show you guys this earlier in the video, but look at this sick ass bag this is a rebecca minkoff like old bag from like the mid 2000s and it's the perfect like sexy like pouch like i don't know i'm feeling like i kind of want to do something with it with this look but this is going in the suitcase i also have on pointy toed boots you guys will see all of these outfits like actually when i wear them in the new york vlog but this is going this is going in the suitcase. Okay, queens, I have started laying everything out because surprise, surprise, it is Tuesday and I am literally leaving on a red eye tonight. This packing has been kind of a pain in my big fat ass, but that's fine that's fine that's fine like i said you guys will see like finished outfits in the new york vlog literally drying my bangs right now because i have a day we have things to go do today before we leave but i thought i'd show you guys this day outfit i put together obviously gonna look so much better when my hair is done but i'm gonna do these like baggy jeans for a day look with my harley clogs and then this just like white button up shimmy shake top open with a tie and i might add my moto jacket but let me show you guys because i haven't put anything in the suitcase yet uh what we're working with over here so these are the shoes that i'm for sure bringing then these are like kind of the arm accessories that i'm bringing like i said i'm doing a photo shoot while i'm there so these are for looks for that um just like some sleeves for accessories this chain belt i still have to pull all my bags i'm bringing but i'm probably gonna bring that black fendi baguette for pants i'm bringing these like kind of baggy low waist they're literally originally from abercrombie but i got them at savers uh like really just baggy cool pants these black trousers these like amazing low waist kind of like iridescent green corduroys and then these suit pants and some jeans still adding to this pile 
Then we come over here for skirts. This like midi skirt, really, really cute. This little like, it's literally so cute. Wait, let me show you guys the tag. Software San Francisco. It's just like a little slinky slip skirt. Um, this one that I showed you guys layered over the pants. This like really cute maxi skirt. And then the black micro mini I showed you guys. Then over here we have more of my like vest tops. This is like a really cool corset. I am so excited to style this. I'm gonna wear it with camo pants that I just reminded myself I need to bring over here. This vest I showed you guys on, this black vest. This vest, <laughs> I love vests because they're so versatile. I can either wear them just like as a top or I can layer them over another outfit. Oh wow, this is real, this is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna bring this like stretchy top. It's just got like these like really cool, like kind of like, what are they, like cords across the top. I'm gonna keep packing because I just like need to get it done. I'll update you guys later. Am I bringing these sunnies? Who can be sure? I'm a mess but we're getting to New York. We're getting to New York. Hello guys. Ah, hello guys. We are in New York City. It has been quite a past day and I need to catch you guys up a little bit. First of all, look at this view I woke up to this morning. So gorge, except it's supposed to rain today. But like I said, we gotta catch up. <sighs> so the last time we spoke, it was Tuesday and I was about to take my red eye and I was packing. And now it is Thursday morning. I just woke up and showered and whatnot, but I wanted to end out this video and just tell you guys Kind of how the past day has been uh traveling is like really hard for me my anxiety really doesn't like to let me enjoy things especially when it comes to me like taking myself out of my routine and that's something that i'm like continuously working on as an adult working on like feeling my feelings and like letting those be valid and letting it be okay that i have anxiety and depression but also not letting that stop me from enjoying the things I've worked so hard for. But I did film some clips yesterday, so I kind of want to narrate you guys through my first day in the city. So I took the red eye on Tuesday night, which always seems like a good idea, like because it just helps not like waste any time getting into the city, getting to the East Coast, but it's always so terrible. I literally flew into the city, got here at 5 a.m. on Wednesday morning yesterday. It was pouring down rain and I spent the morning at my best friend Morgan's apartment. She's my best friend from college and she also is kind of like my publicist. She is a publicist out here in New York, but she is literally amazing. Like just obviously one of my favorite people in the world. So since I couldn't check in here to my hotel till three, I hung out at her apartment yesterday morning and just like worked on my show decks and worked on my podcast deck and just like chilled out. I took a little like a two hour nap, which is how you know I'm tired because I literally never nap. Um, and then I went off to Chill House, which if you guys are ever in the city, definitely go to Chill House. I love them so, so fucking much. They always treat me like a damn princess queen. They are incredible. And they treated me to a facial when I got here, which was everything that I needed with their head esthetician, Tama, and he was incredible. I have like this big ass zit under my nose right now that developed while I was on the plane and he like extracted it for me <laughs> and cleaned it up for me. So it's healing right now, but it was so nice and then what did i do oh my god then i came and checked in here and this hotel is so cute it's so nice obviously it's a small room because like it's new york so everything's pretty compact but i do have like this gorgeous ass view both of these windows and they're like the kind of incredible windows that have like blackout curtains so they just like go down and up and then last night was actually kind of hard for me i checked in here at like 4 p.m and i had every intention to go out to this event um, party thing with Morgan for one of her clients and I just couldn't do it. I was so exhausted obviously from taking my red eye. I just had so much anxiety like pumping through my veins. New York is a place that I like literally used to love so much when I was little and lived in Ohio and would like come out here and like for fashion internships and stuff but I am just such an LA girly and I get reminded of that every time I'm in the city. It is just too much here for me. It is too hard. It is too much. I just love fucking Los Angeles. It's just where my body feels so content and happy. 
but you know sometimes we have to put ourselves out of our comfort zone and so last night i just like decided i would decompress i would just get ready for these next couple of days where i have more stuff planned and things that i need to do so i literally laid in bed and facetimed with my sister lexi last night because she makes my heart so happy she makes me feel so much better i talked to tyler i watched bridgerton season two so fucking good and yeah so we are going to start off this new day of the trip, day two, so much better. I'm gonna be making a big ass vlog that you guys will get just a couple of days after this one when I get back. And I'm gonna show you guys where I'm going thrifting, vintage shopping, the events I'm going to, the photo shoot I'm doing, um, literally just everything, the food I'm eating. I'm literally gonna go get some bomb ass bagels with Amy this morning. Amy's also in the city. Um, she's actually like throwing the event that I'm going to tonight at like this really, really sick vintage, like designer vintage showroom. But you guys will see that in the next vlog. You guys will see that in the next vlog. So hit subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for the daily shimmies. I'm on my stories constantly. So if you guys wanna like see the New York vibes before I put out the next vlog, follow me over there. Um, I love you guys so much. Remember you're amazing just the way you are and when I tell you guys that I'm telling myself that because I was feeling down on myself last night. I was like why I cried. I was like why can't I be normal? Like why can't I just and I know those are like not like I am like it doesn't no one's normal. Like no one's normal. So that I don't I don't mean that by saying that, but I just kind of had this moment where I'm like why can't I just enjoy things? Like why does my anxiety and depression have to ruin everything and make me feel just so isolated and alone? And like make everything a million times harder than it has to be but i just gotta get out of my own way and be kind to myself and we're gonna have a good day we're gonna have a good day we're gonna have a good day okay i love you guys like i said you're fucking sexy and fabulous and i will see you back here in the next new york vlog okay peace queens peace peace love and shimmies peace love and shimmies i just did my freaking tiktok outro peace queens instead of my youtube outro peace love and motherfucking shimmies you're amazing <laughs>